Good morning, Willie Briscoe here, North Coast Calvary Chapel. Opportunity to share daily hope today. And we're gonna look at Galatians 6, 2. Um, a lot of times when I've read through this passage, <clears throat> I thought that I understood what it meant until later on in my walk, I really dug into this passage a little bit more. And, um, and maybe we'll just read it real quick and kind of go through it. Galatians 6, 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you shall fulfill the law of Christ. Um, in the past, when when looking at the scripture, I thought that it meant just if someone was struggling or someone had a bill to pay or someone had a challenge that I was supposed to just <clears throat> maybe pray for them as a lot and, and come alongside them. And, and in some regards, I think, this passage does mean that, but um, really when you look at the two scriptures that bookend this scripture, it brings it into context. And I think it goes a little bit deeper than that. Let's read those other two verses. Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves, or you may also be tempted. Our verse, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. And then verse 3, if anyone thinks that they are something, when they are not, they deceive themselves. When you look at that passage, Galatians 6, 2, in context of uh, verse 1, that talks about restoring a person that's fallen in sin, and then verse 3, that talks about um, not thinking too highly of myself, um, that passage 6-2 takes a, a deeper meaning. And what I mean by that is um, a lot of times when we catch people in sin, we choose almost every other way to deal with it than to uh, deal with it this way. Uh, we'll choose to gossip, we'll choose to judge or criticize, um, or we'll choose to ignore their sin. But um, when you look at Galatians 6, 2 in context, it's, it's a real hard challenge because instead of judging, criticizing, or ignoring someone else's sin, the writer here is asking us to, um, to carry that burden, to uh, see ourselves struggling with that same sin, and then come alongside that brother or that sister and, and help them carry that burden with the idea that we can um, help them overcome through the Holy Spirit, overcome through the Word of God, um, that sin. And then the the warning there is that um, we don't think too highly of ourselves, that we can't stumble and fall in that same sin. You know, a lot of times when God gives us insight into someone's life, He gives us insight into a person's struggle, um, we don't use it for the reason that God wants us to use it for. We get special insight into someone's struggle, especially someone that's close to you, maybe living in your same house. And the first thing we do is we judge or we criticize or we um, do any other thing than to sit up and <clears throat> carry that burden for another person. Jesus Christ carried the cross for us because we couldn't carry it. And we're supposed to be like that to others. And these, this is a word to um, other believers. This doesn't have to do with a non-believer um, carrying their sin, but this has to do with your brother or your sister in Christ. Maybe your child, maybe someone that's close to you. When they are caught in sin, and you know that, and God's giving you special insight, you have the unique opportunity to help that person be restored to Christ by coming alongside with that person and um, carrying their burden and helping them carry their cross. And in that way, you can help restore that person. And it's supposed to be done in a position of humility. And the only way we can come into a position of humility in doing that is understanding that without Christ, we would struggle and we do struggle in either the same way or other sins. And sometimes those sins are worse. So as you um, go throughout your week and God gives you special insight into someone's struggle, um, ask God how you can come alongside and help Help them carry that burden. Uh, begin first by just praying in the spirit and then um, looking up the word of God to see how to approach um, the situation. But most importantly, um, let's not judge, let's not criticize, let's come alongside 
and help someone else carry their cross today. And in that way, you can fulfill the law of Christ. Thank you.